Uh, you've probably gone over a couple of them, but like I'm curious the advantage, disadvantages of you know the energy vault sort of systems compared to like you know traditional storage batteries, pumped hydro, whatever else. Like yeah, For, first energy vault, uh, I believe is a a company with a unique value proposition because we have established in the last uh, in the last four years a technology platform that provides solution that uh, answer to a uh, need for short duration energy storage and also for long duration energy storage. We have developed internally at Energy Vault a specific division called Energy Vault Solution uh, that is able to integrate uh, any form of energy of energy medium uh, to offer and provide flexibility to the customer. So if a customer is interested just in a two hours duration, uh, we have technology to feed and to fit that solution. If a customer differently doesn't have constraint in terms of space available, and this happens very often in Australia, and they are interested in solution for a longer duration, we have our own proprietary gravity energy storage solution. Now, in terms of uh, uh, features and difference between, uh, let's compare our gravity solution with batteries. The first thing that I we can highlight is that uh, the storage medium uh, is not represented by an electrochemical process that uh, is working on transferring ions from a cathode to an anode, what happened within a battery, but uh, is uh, associated with a more intuitive process to lift and lower heavy object. And this is something that uh, everybody, you know, since mid school is familiar with, is the force of gravity that. Uh, when you lift an object, uh, is able to store energy just thanks to the elevation of that object. And when you want to release that, uh, that, uh, that energy, you have just to lower. So the most intuitive uh, form of energy storage using this principle is hydropower plant with uh, pumped characteristics, so pumped hydro. And uh, pumped hydro use water that uh, is funnel from uh, an upper reservoir to the, to the lower reservoir and uh, you have a, a, a turbine and a hydro a, a hydro turbine that are converted the kinetic energy of the water into electricity and uh, when you have uh, the need uh, to store energy you use the water from the lower reservoir and the, the same machine works in reverse fashion and pumps water upstream it, essentially, our technology, Energy Vault technology, works in a very similar fashion, but instead of using a fluid like water, we use uh, dozens of bricks, uh, very heavy, with a higher density than water. So we take advantage of the fact that we don't need a specific uh, geographic location uh, to develop our solution, but uh, we can install there wherever we can build a building. And in addition, we can take advantage of uh, a density of our mobile masses that is double than the density of water. So we have a, a much higher energy density per unit of surface. So uh, this is the, the fundamental difference between a, an electrochemical solution and our solution from the physical point of view. Now, in terms of performance, something that is very interesting and has also captured a lot of financial interest from, from the mining sector in a in Australia, is the fact that uh, our product, EVX, uh, does not experience degradation in the storage medium. So we do not have to spend additional money or, or uh, add additional uh, mobile masses during the technical life uh, of a system that is uh, 35 years, so it's pretty long. This equates to an advantage from the economic perspective because uh, we are saving money to our customer. The round trip efficiency of the system is with the new product uh, is quite close to the round trip efficiency of batteries that they are best in class into the industry. So we are around uh, 83 to 85 percent with a new innovative solution uh, with a motor generator and uh, active front end. So from that point of view, we are almost best in class. And uh, the long technical life uh, represents another strong incentive for a large energy user or a utilities to invest on an asset that doesn't need a frequent replacement of a basic component. And therefore, the total cost of ownership is pretty attractive.